welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you are having a fantastic day, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's your host, Galadon. And here we go. Did you forget about this account? Did you not remember that Galadon spent over $6,000 on a Clash of Clans account and then, well, virtually stopped playing it? It's true. It's crazy. But here we are. We're back and we're bad or worse or better but it, anyway the last update came and we're no longer maxed out so we decided to reinvigorate to restart to re just okay we're just gonna upgrade some stuff all right so yes now i did kind of forget what was upgraded and what wasn't and what needed to be upgraded and i don't know for some reason i thought archer towers had to go and okay now if you guys remember this is episode number you ready for this 106 of gem farm fix max that rush Initially, originally, back in the olden days, and when I say olden days, I'm talking to back in the Clash of Clans days, you know, Chief Pat used to play, but Chief Pat played, and yeah, this was an account that originally was designed to challenge Chief Pat in a Chief versus Chief series, and it didn't really get legs, unfortunately. Part of the reason was because Chief Pat decided to go play Clash Royale, and now he's off playing Brawl Stars, and I don't know, maybe he'll come back. Maybe the boy will come full circle, we'll give it a try, but in the meantime, we've got a fantastically upgraded account, right? I mean, we played this account for a long time, spent a lot of money, and we're nearly there. We're nearly maxed out again, and I have to say, it's kind of fun having two maxed out accounts just because you can challenge back and forth with pretty much any base you want any time of the day or night who needs a clan no i'm, I'm kidding you, you clans are great as well but okay so let's see what did we do here we upgraded a wizard tower and it was around that time that i remembered that hey wait a minute it's not archer towers that need to be upgraded it is cannons i yeah i just like i said the update the sneak peeks everything just kind of buzzed my brain the live streams, the videos, just, it was overload and I kind of lost track of things. So if you want to come by and keep track of my accounts with me, fb.gg slash realgaladongaming is the place to be. Every single night I am live streaming there. And okay, now the progress base is back to how it's supposed to look. And now we can get some upgrades going. Obviously, we've got a lot of elixir. We don't need, well, actually, okay. I kind of forget, and, and again, this is what happened. I completely forgot about the fact that there's tons of troops that need upgrades and spells and whatnot over in the lab. So I'm just like throwing up walls like I did at Town Hall 9 and uh, didn't even really think about it, but unfortunately, that's Galadon. So fine, we got some level 14 walls going. Now, we are, of course, raiding on this account, and let me tell you, the rating is amazing, especially when you're right at 5,000 trophies, and thank you to all of the severely rushed Legend League players, especially those rocking Town Hall 10 walls and little baby heroes. It does help out. It makes things... Okay, it, it helps build my false sense of confidence, and it also gives me an opportunity to try weird attacks. So I'm not just going full on, you know, hog minor hybrid every single attack. We have broken out the super witches and we only were able to squeeze five of them into this attack. 40 housing space each is insane, but come on, big boys, right? You got to have your big boys and I still, I don't know, I need your help. I can't decide whether it's the most ridiculous troop name ever or if it's the most epic troop name ever. I really... Yeah, I'm kind of on the fence, and I go back and forth between that is so stupid, and that is the funniest thing ever. So, we'll see. Alright, so generally, like any other attack, we just try to do a little bit of funneling here. I've got kind of a queen charge, and obviously she is going to roll through the town hall on her own. And so, rather than drop the witches here, we decided to wait until the archer queen takes down the town hall, because we honestly, I didn't know which way she was going to go. I'm thankful that she went towards the town hall but I didn't know for sure. And that's, you know, that's the way a lot of things are in life. You never know for sure what the outcome is going to be, but when it turns out positive, it is time to be thankful. And I am most certainly thankful for all of you using code Galadon. Now, this is not a shout out to tell you to use it. This is actually just me saying thank you guys, okay? I am buying tons and tons of Clash swag and gift cards Gold Pass is going out by the dozens every single week, and all because you guys are using code Galadon. Thank you again for that. And again, make sure you check out my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Facebook page, because I do indeed have the coolest, most epic collection of Clash of Clans memorabilia, and I am in the process of giving it away. 
So yes, it's absolutely true. I guarantee you, I've got some things you didn't even know existed. It's crazy. Okay, so yes, here we go. Reckon this village and you'll notice that it's slow. It's kind of reminds me of say Pekka's or even Yeti's where it's this, okay, wait a minute. How much time is left? Are they gonna get through? They're so slow yet they're so strong that if they have the time, you're going to grab the three stars. And this is fun, this is different, and this is new, and that's part of what I always say. If you get to the point where you're kind of burned out in Clash of Clans, there are many different things you can do. You can try a different attack, like I am doing here. You can try playing a different account, like oftentimes you've seen me do as well, or you can just repurpose an account. And what I mean by that is, if you're pushing trophies and you're not feeling the rewards because Legend League isn't giving anything to you and you've already hit, say, Champion League, yeah, what else is there to do, right? So you try something else, you focus on war. Maybe you focus on your achievements like I did on my main account, dropping all the way down to about 500 trophies in order to pick up the unbreakable achievement, which I finally did. If you are in the live streams, you saw it, you know that it happened live right there. And that was pretty cool, even though it was only 100 gems. Okay, let's move on. All right, we've got the final upgrade of the wizard tower to go right here. And because it's more expensive to do a wizard tower than a cannon, we are going to break down and use that old hammer. So there is the builder hammer. That is an instant maxed out wizard tower up here in the corner. And that leaves only the seven cannons left and a handful of walls. And we will once again be fully maxed out and, and have nothing to do. But we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll do something exciting and different. And no, I'm not going to give the account away. Oh, man. Every single in the comments. Stop it. All of you that are down there saying, Galadon, can I have this account? You don't need it anyway. And I'll tell you right now, if I could give it away, I would give it away to all of you. I would make millions of copies of this account and send it to everybody because that's the kind of person I am. But, oh, yep, that's right. It would be a violation of the terms of service to do anything of the sort. So don't even think about it. Don't try to buy, sell, trade, share, giveaway accounts. You guys, you're just going to get banned. Then you're going to be sad. You're going to come to my live streams and say, Galadon, and I'm telling you guys right now, this happens every single live stream. Galadon, my account got banned. Can you help me? My only answer is go start a new account because the game is fun from Town Hall 1. Okay, let's get back into another attack, and hey, let's use the most underwhelming new troop ever in Clash of Clans. It's the Headhunter. Okay, now, when I say underwhelming, what I mean is I feel personally that to the average player, the Headhunter isn't going to provide a great deal of value. To a war player who has a chance to break down and really take a closer look at a war base before attacking it, then a headhunter could be ideal, could be absolutely the right troop for the right moment. But for me and for I think most players in Clash, it's a really cool concept with a really difficult application. And like right here, I could have, should have, would have dropped a headhunter in after the Barb King, but I didn't because I panicked and I was too worried about everything else that was going on. Yeah, so fine. So that that right there, Galadon, anytime. Now that would have made a huge difference right there, maybe, maybe. Headhunter would have at least mitigated the damage output from the Barb King. And then, well, I don't know. So, you know, just, I'm disappointed, all right? I feel like there could have been other things that we could have had. The Headhunter, it looks cool. It sounds amazing. I can't believe it targets heroes. But to the average player, I just don't see a massive amount of utility for it in most situations. Again, it's probably better in war than it ever will be in Legend League or Trophy or Farming trophy pushing you know all right but hey let me know in the comments if i'm way off base if you guys think the headhunter is amazing and everybody should use it in every army then let me know and i'll tell you why you're wrong no no seriously let me know i'm never abusive to people down in the comments i might get a little bit salty but that's usually in the live streams as well i try to be nice to everybody in the comments you know i mean come on there's no trolls down there there's no people that are ever insulting or rude or selfish come on this is youtube folks it's only mature calm adults that ever leave comments in videos all right so this is obviously going to be another three star galadon absolutely rocking it because nobody can stop me when i'm using hybrid okay that is my go-to if i'm a one trick pony this is the trick that i've learned right here and it is a lot of fun it's still extremely effective even against fully maxed out bases as my clan members in use code galadon would know 
But as we wrap up this attack, I just wanted to say, hey, here we are in 2020. I've been making YouTube videos. You guys ready for this? I've been making YouTube videos for over seven years, playing this game for seven and a half. And I never in my wildest dreams imagined that this would become my full-time job. And, you know, I know that I thank you guys at the beginning and the end of every single episode, but especially you, you guys that stuck around after 10 minutes, you didn't just skip to the end, you're watching this middle part of the video. I flip and love you guys. I appreciate all of you, and I hope that you guys feel that sincerely from me. Thank you for spending the time that you do with me every day, and if you do come by a live stream, please tell me that you came from YouTube, and I will give you a special shout out because I appreciate you guys as well. Still trying to continue to build a positive community over there on Facebook Gaming as well. Now, let's go back over to the progress base, and yes, you can see that the heroes were boosted, and we're going to go ahead and upgrade them anyway because we were done raiding. And actually, this is the good news, the Archer Queen, we've got the loot and the hammer and the book to take her from 73 straight to 75 right here. So instantaneously, two levels, okay, virtually instantaneously, don't get technical on me or anything. There she is, finally maxed out, that was my first priority of course. Get that Arch Queen maxed out, then we'll finish with the Barb King, we'll finish with the walls and with the cannons, and before you know it, it will be a fully maxed out base. Oh, there's that stinking spring trap, okay. Thank you, yes, I, that made such a huge difference in my life that they added a spring trap in the last update. But that is going to do it. We are going to go on to, of course, we've got a status report for this series, just like the No Cash Clash series, although this one a little bit different. Today, I had to add in the scenery that I bought, the gold pass that I bought, and one other package that I bought off camera. Total now, 636703. We did use about 500 gems today as well. Time spent, you guys ready for this? Over 11 days of my life spent playing this account alone. And for next goals, it's all about maxing out. One more episode and we will be fully maxed out again. And then what? I don't know. You guys tell me because you're the who, the what, the why. You're the true hashtag. Gotta find my love. Think about it. Appreciate every single one of you every single day. So stay inside, watch your hands, be kind to other people, animals, and planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks.